Okay, so the beautiful thing is I've got this rolling table, so I can just pull this out like so, so I can get access to the back of the Glowforge right here, as you can see. And I just wanna pinch that grip off of there so I can remove the hose that came with the Glowforge uh, and get rid of that because I, don't, I no longer need that. That is what I'm replacing today. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this bad boy here, which is a four inch to six inch adapter. Basically what this is going to do is it's going to take the exhaust that comes out of the back of the Glowforge here is four inches. So this will fit nice and snugly around the exhaust vent back here. And I really sh probably should take this opportunity to clean this, but I'm not gonna do that right now because uh, that would take too long. So I'm going to add this here nice and snug onto the back of the Glowforge. That fits beautifully. So there we go. We've got our adapter, which goes from four inches to six inches on the back of the Glowforge. Okay, so here's the AC Infinity Cloudline S6 or S6 Cloudline as it were. It's the inline fan that you're gonna to wanna to use along with a, an upgraded six inch hose. Now I've got way too much hose going out the window here. So I'm actually, get out of the way. So I'm actually going to cut this down around about, I don't know, somewhere around there kind of thing. And I'm gonna get rid of some of that surplus hose. And I'm gonna show you also the damper that connects to the window here. I actually don't need to remove that, but um, yeah, so there's a damper that's connected directly to the window and I've got it uh, like, an, like an air conditioner kind of setup, you know, one of those seals that you use with an air conditioner and it's got an adapter. Well, not so much an adapter, but it's got like an outside vent with little sort of mesh on it so that it keeps the bugs out, the mosquitoes and the flies. I don't want them getting in it through the, or anything coming in. But the damper, what it does is it shuts down, like it only operates when air is going out of the, out of the window. Other than that, it just shuts down. It's like a little sort of a lever that does this kind of thing as air is pushing out of it, but then it springs closed when, uh, when air is not moving out of it. So that's extremely handy. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, it works a charm. So I'm gonna leave that there. I'm not gonna take that off because it'd be a pain in the you know what to try and get it back on. So I've got this hose running back to the Cloudline S6. I wanna take some of this hose here and I'm gonna cut a section of it out and then I'm going to join this, the, the hose that's hanging down from the window, to this side of the, the inline fan. And if you look carefully, you'll see an arrow here. And that's the direction of the air. So you're gonna want that facing away from the Glowforge going out the window, okay? That's the direction of the air. Comes out of the back of the Glowforge, goes out the hose, in through the inline fan, and zippity doo right through the window, okay? So I'm gonna to get to cutting that right now and then we'll hook everything up. Back in a sec. All right, so cool. What I've done here is I've gone and cut this uh, hose to the length that I need, and I've just tucked in the, the choppy bit, uh, you know, the, the rough edge, if you will. I've just tucked that back under the hose so it's got a nice clean look to it. And then what I'm gonna do is just put that onto the inline fan like so. Well, no, actually what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna put this over top. This is the clamp that's gonna keep this bad boy in place, so I need that on there first. Super important, otherwise, you know, and you know what, I've actually put it backwards. <laughs> Expertise, folks. You're getting it all here today. All right, and we're gonna put that, sliding it on over the, get on there. There we go. So we're gonna put that onto the inline fan, making sure that the clamp is actually, so you put enough hose on so that the clamp can be on, uh, clamping down on the hose as well as the inline fan. So once that happens, once you've got it situated, you get the right screwdriver for the job, which clearly I don't have. That's uh, 
that's an issue because, well, you know what, it's not an issue actually because what I can do is just take this off, remove this one, put this one on because I know this has got the right, no, oh, it does not. What's happening here? Okay, I've got the right clamp now. So <laughs> we're gonna start all this over again and we're just gonna uh, get this clamp off of the hose here so that I can use this particular one to put the reduced hose onto the inline fan. So we'll get that on there like so. Get it nice and situated. This is exciting stuff, folks. Gripping, it's like a Hollywood blockbuster, except there's no popcorn and there's no talent. <laughs> All right, so we'll get that onto the, make sure again that the clamp is clamping onto all of the hose and it's actually clamping onto the inline fan and go ahead and tighten your hose like so. And then what we're gonna do is get some tape and tape that because even though we've got this thing nice and clamped down, it's because this is a spiral, this clamp isn't going to, the, the, the spiral sort of, there's like a, a spine, if you will, that goes through this tube and it's made of like a little wire. And so the wire is actually, because it's in a spiral, it's eventually gonna go up underneath this clamp and you're not gonna get an airtight seal under where that where this uh, spiral goes up under the clamp. Even as tight as you can make this, it's, it will still happen that way. So we're just gonna make sure we put some tape around this and I'm gonna use black tape because aesthetically, it just looks nicer. I like things to look nice. And now no air is getting out or in anywhere around this hose, okay? Or the inline fan for that matter. So we're golden. That's perfect. That actually shortens things up nicely. Now I can actually hide this thing, this ugly hose behind the curtain. And uh, beautiful. Okay, so now what we gotta do is we've gotta install the other end of the hose, which this is not long enough for. Um, I got another hose just like this that I'm going to use. I'm gonna have to cut that one as well to length. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy with the results so far. We've eliminated that big U-turn here because again, the airflow wants to, and I'm just checking to make sure the arrow, because <laughs> sometimes, you know, you accidentally turn this thing around and you start installing the wrong end of it. Um, you gotta make sure those arrows are pointing towards the window, okay, for the airflow. Anyway, let's get the other hose. Okay, so ideally you don't want this kind of really sharp bend in your Glowforge's uh, ventilation system, but I mean realistically not a lot of us have the opportunity to go directly out of, from the Glowforge out of a hole in the wall or out of a window. I could perhaps put the Glowforge over there, but then of course I'm, see there's an air conditioning vent there, like a, or a heating vent. Um, so. Pretty happy with the results. Gotta tell you, not every hose is created equal. If you're gonna be buying the AC Infinity Cloudline S6 inline fan, I highly recommend you go with their hose instead of, I went with a different hose this time because AC Infinity did not have any in stock. So I bought a different hose um, off of Amazon for this length here. And unfortunately the diameter of it, I'm not sure if you can really see that, but the diameter is actually slightly smaller than this than the six inch hose from AC Infinity versus the aftermarket one from who knows where. But they said this was six inches. It is not six inches. 
well, maybe it is, but it's exactly six inches, whereas this was actually made to fit on this particular product. So worth noting, it was just a lot of faffing about with you know this hose here, trying to get it on the inline fan and then trying to get it onto the adapter behind the, the Glowforge. But uh, anyway, that's the setup. So we've got your damper coming out of there, right? This thing here is an AC Infinity damper. Clamp the hose across that. And that's going outside and venting. And on the outside of the window, there's a uh, like a mesh kind of vent cover so that it stops insects and things like that from getting in. The damper prevents any air from getting in or moisture as well. Uh, six inch hose leading to the inline fan. And of course, the little arrow is facing where it needs to, going all the way back around behind the Glowforge to that four to six inch adapter. And I sealed that up nice and tight too. So all is good in the world of Master Blaster. All right, that's it. So I hope that you thought that was helpful. I thought I'd run just a little sort of video about the inline setup and because, you know, some people were asking about it. Um, and I think it's one of those important things for setting up your Glowforge. So yeah, make sure you get a good inline fan. Uh, make sure you get really good hose and try not to make any sharp turns or as few sharp turns in your ventilation hose as possible coming out of the back of the Glowforge. Hope you had a great time and thanks very much for watching. Ciao.